All right, so I'm going to apply another layer of JB Weld onto this to, to fill in the pits here. I guess there was a nameplate right here um, from the manufacturer of the helmet. I'm not for sure who that was, um, what company that is, because I got this helmet at a thrift store um, for 10 bucks. So, yeah, just uh, going to fill that in. There's a couple of holes here. I used a JB Weld putty. You can see the discoloration. Of where the putty was, and then over the JB Weld. I guess I probably could use body filler on this, but I think JB Weld's a little bit tougher. It's definitely harder to sand, so um, I feel like it would last a little bit longer. So yeah. I'm just using the plastic tray from the putty and a um, popsicle stick. I'm doing this in my living room, so I'm keeping everything in this trash bag to try to limit the, the dust. Um, it's working so far, so. So, yeah. So, put the second coat of the JB Weld on there. It's super thin, uh, so it should be easy to sand off. And I just went over the entire thing just to make sure that um I get every little pit and every small scratch eliminated um so when we get so when we get ready to paint the uh, helmet um it'd be as if that was never there all right so I got most of this done there's some pitting in here I need to get some filler and fill in the pitting other than that, I went ahead and taped all this up. I folded back the rubber gasket all the way around. I didn't want to take it all the way off because I didn't want to take the glue off of the rubber glass gasket um, and have a hard time to get it to stay back on. Um, but yeah, then I sanded down the entire helmet, some sanded out some pits and some low spots or high spots. And, uh, yeah. All right, so got it all sanded down. There's a few little pits in here. I don't have any of the body filler putty. I'm going to need that for this, um, But I'm going to go ahead and prime it, uh, then sand it down and see what it looks like after that. Um, yeah. Um, there's some, like, right here, we went through the paint all the way, but then now it's on this, on the helmet itself. So it feels like there's, like, some high spots here and here so I think I need to get a little paint build up back onto here so we can so we can even this out and smooth it out yeah all right so there's some type of chemical reaction going on right here I don't know why it's not doing it through the rest of the helmet and it looks like it's doing it only on the stripes that was on the helmet. So I don't know what that's about, but this primer that I got is sandable. So it's this brand I'm using, professional grade. So, and then here you can see the pits that I was talking about. And then now that we have primer on it, I don't, might be able to pick it up, but you can see that line of where this was. So we're gonna sand this down and um, I can actually kind of feel a low spot. So we're gonna sand it down. I'll probably put a little bit of body filler on it um, to help get rid of these pits. And uh, we'll do the same thing back here. Um, put a little bit of body filler on here and you can actually see what I was talking about where the paint, yeah. It looks like it's got like a little bit of a transition there. I don't know if that 
I don't know why it did that. I thought I feathered it out, but I guess not good enough. So, and then there's these little imperfections here, all over the place. And that's why you want to prime anything that you're doing this type of work to and help you find all the imperfections and where you need to work. So, yeah, that's it. Still have some of the pits here. I've not put any of the uh, putty on there yet, but I will not probably, I will not have to use any um, Bono, I don't believe. All this kind of came out. I feathered that in. Put another coat of primer on here. Do a little bit more sanding. And that will uh, take care of a lot of it. We'll go to a higher grit sandpaper. Some pits right here. Yeah, I think it's gonna come out pretty good. So I'm gonna put the putty on these pits here and some of the scratches and some other places. And then we'll uh, sand it down and then we'll do another coat of primer and sand it down again. And then it should be ready for paint. All right, so I got the putty on. That's what I used. Um, I put it everywhere. I thought there was an imperfection. And I put a little extra back here um, where that issue is with was with the uh, with the primer. Um, just try to help get all that fixed up and um, where that uh, part was that we went through the paint with or the primer with. So I think this is uh, gonna be um, pretty nice afterwards. So after this, we're gonna sand this down once it all dries and cures, and then we'll give it another coat of primer and sand that down again, uh, maybe even wet sand it. Um, and then we'll put our uh, paint and then clear on. All right, so here we go. All the imperfections you can see. But there's still a little bit more here, I believe. I'm gonna go ahead and put some primer on it and work with it a little bit more, but everywhere else is perfect, I think. You can actually see where these pits have been filled in. And it is smooth. So I'm gonna give it a coat of primer and then go over it again. One last time, and we should have it just about perfect. All right, so it came out looking really good um, for the most part. There's a few places on it. That's where these stripes were on the helmet. Uh, just the paint just doesn't want to do what it needs to do. Um, it actually shows up worse in the video. Um, but I do have a decal that I'm putting on this helmet. Um, so I'll probably cover that up. So at some point you have to kind of give up, I guess. Um, and then here, right in the front, I did the same thing where the stripe is. So I don't know what that's about. Um, luckily, this will also be covered up by the visor that I have. Um, it kind of sucks that I put that much time into it to get it as perfect as possible. And then, uh, those little things happened. Other than that, there's one little pit that I missed right there, but other than that, it come out great. Um, it's something to do with whatever paint they used on those stripes. Um, uh, and the paint that I was using. And then here... You can see it a lot better. It's not the best uh, blended in, but it's all one color. 
Uh, I think it will kind of fade out um, better when I have the visor there. So yeah, uh, it really does suck about this. So I really didn't want to put the decal here, but I'll figure it out. Looks good. It's nice and shiny.